Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mike with Project Charger. Michael's Project Michael's Charger, <laughs> I'm sorry. And today we're going to go ahead and install the throttle body spacer. So we're gonna head out down to the car. I actually just got home from work, so I'm kind of let, trying to let the car cool down, but we're gonna go ahead, head out, install this, and we'll find out is if this $95 that I spent is worth it. Like I said, I don't expect too much from power. I'm hope I'm looking for um, mileage, gas mileage. So like I said, we'll head outside, we'll install this and uh, we'll take it for a spin. All right, so let's head outside right now. All right guys, so the first thing you guys wanna do is just come in here and disconnect your negative on the battery. So let's lift that up like that. And sit that just like that. All right, so now there's no power to the car. Now we should be able to get started. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead right here and then we'll take it off. Just so you guys can see what I did. Loosened up clamp, took it off. Took the sensor off the throttle body. Now we're gonna undo all four bolts. Alright, I gotta move some stuff around. Alright guys, so I took the coupling off of here. There, just leave that all connected so I can get to the that bolt and also there's a bolt underneath that. I don't know if I can get it on video. There's a bolt right here. I need to get to so just remove that I mean if you want you can move the whole intake air intake out but I didn't feel like doing all that so I'm gonna do it like this I for some reason the sensor won't come out so I don't know what's up with this thing this thing's like broke so uh, I have to end up replacing that but so yeah just for something or something like that just remove the cup link off and then you can get to it all right all right so throttle body off that's how it's going to be look at that not bad had this on there for a while 
so not bad so i don't need to clean the throttle body you can clean that up if you want but there's no need to it's not that bad right now so yeah so now we will go ahead and install that all right now that that's put in there so you gotta line it up with the holes and everything so once you line it up you now you got your uh all right sorry video cut out on me but yeah so if it's windy i'm sorry so that's how it's gonna look everything's ready to go now i just gotta put the throttle body back on there and uh connect everything and we should be good all right guys so these are the new screws right they're not long enough luckily my old ones are long enough so i'm gonna go ahead and put these old ones back in there these are probably actually the better ones so i'm gonna put these back in there and they should line everything up right all right guys so the bolts don't fit i gotta go to the store and uh i gotta go to the store go get some longer bolts because those bolts, even the original ones, weren't long enough. They weren't screwing in. So I'm going to go ahead, get some more, and uh, I will be right back. And we'll continue the video when I get back from the store. All right, guys. So welcome back. Uh, it's been actually a couple of days. I know I said in the video it would be the next day or a little later on but i've been driving all around town looking for bolts so i'm hoping this one works if this does not work jet you guys you guys holy crap man sold me the wrong piece of equipment with this thing so i'm gonna go ahead unplug the battery and i'm gonna uh, see if it works so Give me a second, I'll get back to the video with you guys. All right, guys, so this is the new one. But, man, I don't know if this is, I don't know if that's going to have enough threads to get all the way in there. So, we'll see. It should. If that throttle body, that should, that should probably work. That should probably work. All right, guys. So, we got it off again. We're going to put these in there with the throttle body and we're gonna throttle body spacer throttle bodies right there and we're just gonna make sure that we have enough this should be enough this is a 60 millimeter it's metric so uh, uh, so should work all right let's i'm um, go ahead and install it all right you guys and that's it throttle body spacers in there those bolts were long enough exactly what i needed so i'm gonna go ahead put the intake back together and then give her a couple revs all right guys and there you have it she's all put together so she turned out she's in there so like I said, I'm kind of excited to see this. I don't expect much in power, most likely. Most thing I'm looking for is just uh, maybe helpful with the gas mileage, maybe. So she's all put together, and I'm gonna give her a couple of revs and uh, see uh, see if there's any uh, engine check light for it or whatever. All right. All right, guys. So no check light, no nothing. So I'm gonna uh, see if I can aim the phone outside of the car and let you guys hear this. So hold on, let me see if you guys can hear this. Hopefully you guys can hear that. If you guys can't hear that, that's what that, that whistle that they say makes it sound like a supercharger. It's not supercharged, obviously, but I guess that's the one of the benefits of um, the thing. No, hold on, no, no. Do you want to hit the gas? Oh, hold on, hold on. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go, hit the gas. 
There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> all right so i just got home from work uh, i had a lot of people bugging me so i couldn't really finish the video the way i wanted to a lot of people bugging me so um i hope you guys liked the video hope it it was helpful useful to some of you guys like i said i'm not expecting much from from the uh throttle body spacer you no, know, it, it's got a cool little whistle sound, and um, like I said, I'm, I'm looking more for the the miles uh, per gallon with the gas uh, power. Uh, just driving it from home, from work back home, didn't really feel anything. So, um, but who knows? You know, it might, it might. You never know. I I, I don't know, but. Um, just uh, like, subscribe, and uh, hit that thumbs up on this video if, if you guys find it helpful. Thank you for all you guys' support for checking out the videos, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday I can put on the Hellcat spoiler, and I'm going to uh, have a video review for that. So just uh, look up, look out. The next couple of days for that video coming out uh thanksgiving is thursday so i'm trying to get it done before then but you know if i can i will if i can't it'll probably come after thanksgiving so i would say you know peace out you guys